I just got something in my ear right now, and we were going to wrap up. We just got word that Roger Ebert's died. Oh, I saw it. I'm very Oh, you sorry. had seen it. I hadn't seen no, it. I'm I actually, saw, no, I'm I, about to cry right now. Yeah, that's un, that's no, like I saw my childhood the, right there. Yeah, no, I that's saw the report this morning that he was taking leave of, leave I, of presence, as he called it. I had it. heard that, too. I had no yeah. idea that he passed no, away. I read that. Wow. And I feel I very sorry for his yeah. wife as well. He's a wonderful woman who's um, met a number of times. And, uh, yeah. And he was a great writer about movies. And I have to tell you something about, and I can say this as a Brit, just while you recover, because we, <laughs> one of the amazing things about coming to America is how much people love movies here in a way that in Britain we don't as much. Yeah. We're slightly driven, driven by different things. The love of movie, movies here is just like a breath of fresh air when you get here. Mm -hmm. And something like Roger Ebert's, he personified that, I think. Yeah, and there's an element of Roger Ebert to me that I feel like we're watching film critics be pushed out more and more from the journalism industry and like him passing away right now to me. I was thinking about it when I heard about his leave of presence that it's actually partially like maybe the sort of, I don't want to use the word death, but maybe the death of mainstream film criticism as we, as we kind of know it. I mean, he, he created mainstream film criticism with his show. I, th I think people like him and there are others as well, alike, just like people who actually make the movies, we're obsessed with movies. We're obsessed with telling these stories and things will come and go in the way you get the ability to make them or to write about them or to whatever it is, but that obsession will continue and those people will always find a way to get their voice over, I think. Do you have any memories of Roger Ebert that you can share before we go? I, Not to put you on the spot. No, his, don't, it's okay. <laughs> no, his wife, I remember meeting his wife when, when his voice had gone and she would speak for him. And she was a wonderful woman, actually, really special. And yeah. met her a few times at a number of like awards dinners and things like that, in a, as all part of the awards season. And she was wonderful about Slumdog and his support was tremendous for that as well. So, yeah. Godspeed, Roger.